Good day once again. Uh, this is Richard Inigo of uh, Cold to Serve Bending Machines. Now I am going to demo how to clean the water input uh, strainer of uh, pulley automatic washing machines. Uh, so first, uh, you have to turn off the machine. Okay, here. Then let's go to the back to see the uh, water input strainer and how it is uh, being cleaned. So this is present only in uh, fully automatic uh, washing machines, uh, not in manual. So over time, you see uh, dirt accumulates here. That's why uh, later on, uh, while using the fully automatic washing machine, you will uh, uh, find out that uh, the water uh, coming in of the machine is uh, the volume is uh, decreasing. Uh, this is due to the strainer being. Uh, uh, populated by uh, dirt from the water system. Uh, as you see, the first step is to get a uh, Phillips screwdriver or flat or whatever your uh, the fastener uh, part on the on the uh, hose screw. So you first step is to untighten the clamp if you have uh, one it's okay so you untighten this one okay when it is untightened you disengage it and then unscrew the uh, hose from the input part of the uh, washing machine you see there so the white part is a uh, teflon to prevent leakage leak okay so you see now it that reveals the strainer here in black uh, with the uh, long nose screw so uh, if you have a long nose screw like this you get one and then pinch uh, this part and then uh, pull it outward so that the strainer could be easily reached okay so uh, I'll try to push it back there it's uh, out there it, uh, it can hardly be reached by uh, by brush it depends uh, on the brush that you will be using so what you do is pull it out as far as possible if you can pull it out, that's better so that you can clean it uh, very well. If you cannot, so up to the point that can be uh, pulled. Okay, so when it's pulled out like that, get the brush and then uh, brush it. If you have a detergent, uh, that's better. Okay, so uh, brush it like that until all the dirt that you can remove is... Uh, remove from that uh, strainer okay once it is removed you uh, remove the, any part of this uh, peplon that's uh, blocking the way of the water okay like that okay there And then better if uh, you do not uh, pull it back already so that later on when you will be cleaning this again surely this will accumulate uh, dirt again it will be easier to reach out okay so uh, what we do now is uh, put the uh, sorry I, uh, I am alone no one is uh, <laughs> taking this video that's why please bear with me put the clam there back and then uh, there and then try to screw screw back the hose in place 
Okay. So remember to uh, to follow the screw screwing proper screwing so that uh, leak will not uh, uh, happen here. Okay. After you have uh, tightened it uh, well enough, that's the time you uh, you screw this. Tighten this uh, clamp. By the way, this clamp is uh, I provide this because uh, the fastener, the 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 female part of this bulb is plastic. It cannot tighten enough that when it's uh, this machine is operating because of the water pressure from the water system. Uh, water usually leaks here. That's why I provided a clamp here to tighten it uh, well without the clamp leak or this hose will uh, will disengage okay so that's the presence of the clamp there okay once this is tightened well you can now uh, use the fully automatic uh, washing machine uh, thank you very much this is uh, Richard Inigo was again of called to serve uh, bending machines have a great day. Thank you.